Yeah, Phoenix is pretty laid back. It's, uh, it's not on the coast, but it definitely feels like kind of a coast feel. Um, there's so many baseball guys here, so it's nice. Like, you're in off season, but you stay in touch. Like, Bo uh, Bobby's here, Kike's here. So it's nice to be able to like see them and kind of like work out still. I feel like I'm very unassuming. Like I'm just, I wasn't blessed with some of the, I guess the physical tools that you see a lot of guys. I mean, you guys see it. Like you go to a ballpark and you're like, man, that guy's like, it's crazy. Like he looks like an avatar, right? And like I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't blessed with that. So I think it kind of like went down to my parents growing up, just like instilling, like nothing's ever gonna be given to you and you're gonna earn everything. All those cliches, but like they were such a part of my upbringing, I feel like. And then I went to college at University of Arizona and our coach was the same way. He was like very, go get it, be the first one there. So it's always been kind of part of, I guess, my my personality. I just, I just don't take it for granted, man. Like I try to work as hard as possible and play every game as hard as possible as my body lets me. And I can't really shake that. Even this off season, like my wife and I first, like celebrated our first guaranteed contract. And I, I always got to a point where I was like, I wonder what it's gonna feel like if it's gonna feel any different. And it's almost like even more of a driving factor. It's like, wow, like a team is putting like a little bit of confidence in you. So you're, you, know, you better like work your ass off, right? And like you better like live up to it or do the best you can of trying to. So it's been, it's been a challenge having, you know, my second child, the first week of off season, just being regimented of like, all right, I'm gonna train at this time before they wake up and then like chug some coffee and then like be try to be super dad and then like try to nap when they nap. I have so much more respect of like people I played with when I was younger, like watching them interact with their kids and like they were such a professional, but now I look back at it, I'm like, that was so hard. <laughs> that was so hard, like just how much work they had to put in their body and like just being a good dad. It was it was awesome last year going to spring training and watching some of the players interact with their kids at spring training. That's like the dream, right? My son's like so excited. He, he's got like a little Red Sox bat and ball that he got from the souvenir store across the street. I'm like that's all he plays with. I'm definitely looking forward to like having a day at spring training and then just like having him like hang out in those huge grass areas. So that will be a lot of fun. My parents like just, but they made me feel so like, so loved and supported. And they were always super present at my sporting events and they've like given me the greatest like foundation of how to be a good parent. My wife, she did the Olympic trials twice. Um, yeah, she's an amazing swimmer. It's like swimming is not even a workout for her. So I try not to swim with her cause I don't like getting embarrassed. Just having that perspective of being such a, a highly competitive athlete it helps me be able to train the way I want to. And she just like above and beyond what a partner should be able to do. So she helps me focus on baseball. And there's days where, you know, you don't have a good day at work and you want to, you know, devote a little bit more time or like, hey, I, I might need like an hour uh, drive line, a little bit like more time to work on stuff. And she's like, yeah, like, go ahead. I, I understand. I, I really don't know how guys could do it without like a great partner, but better athlete. I mean, she's watching, like it's not even close <laughs> on land. In the water, it's pretty. It's pretty special to watch. So it's hard to take it for granted when you're in Fenway. It's just like such a great ballpark, such a great environment. Sometimes, like you gotta really take a step back and just kind of pinch yourself. Right? As a journeyman, you, you go to places where you know if you're losing, your fans lose interest as they should. And yeah, Fenway was never like that. It gives me goosebumps, like just thinking about it. I got my first hit there, my first home run. And just like I remember looking back and just like kind of seeing my family and I just had like some of my best baseball memories there. As a visiting player, it was always nice going there. Like you always circled Fenway. I think you go to like some ballparks and you see like grown men go out to batting practice early and just like take it in and Fenway was always up. For that to be my home ballpark, it's like, it's the coolest. <laughs> it's like awesome. Um, it's been cool watching Kike, honestly. Like, just how he goes about his business and he's had so many big postseason moments. Sometimes he's like this larger than life figure. It's cool just watching him. You know, he's definitely gonna have to like be the, the clubhouse leader and I think he's ready for it and I think he's gonna be great at it. AC just wants to like create a good culture. He already, I mean, he already does a great job of that, but I mean, he's really emphasized that early on and like in the off season and like a lot of the Zooms and things like that. Make sure your guys are just like interacting at all times. I feel like it's a, it's a new group, but it feels like a pretty like close knit group already. I'm excited to see other guys like Paxton. I think sometimes we forget how dominant he was and just seeing him healthy and like 
I'm excited. I think it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a lot different, but like, yeah, I think guys are ready to go. At the end of the day, it's kind of like there's only one winner, right? There's only one World Series champion. There's only one team that can say they're the best. Everyone else is losers. It kind of feeds in the off season where guys are super hungry to get better, and they're they're like self evaluating a lot more than if you were to get like second place, right? And you're like, oh, like we're good. We just have to tweak a couple things. I think guys are like really driven, and these, these are like under contract, super proven guys that are devoting their off season time away from their family to be like, oh, I'm gonna get after it. And you got a bunch of guys that are super hungry. That's what the fans have to look forward to.